Lawrence, Lyle Wagoner, and her guest, John Biner. Anything you want to say before we get started? Yes. Who is your favorite actor? James Stewart is my favorite actor. He's going. He's on television on CBS uh, this year, and he plays a detective. Are you going to watch? I think so. Yeah. Oh, he's terrific. I've loved him for a long, long time. <laughs> yes. How old are you? How old am I? Any other questions? <laughs> How old do you think I am? Be careful. Uh, I don't know. Oh, take a guess. Twenty-five. Thank you. <laughs> Oh, you saw the play. Thank you. I really enjoyed doing that. <laughs> You're a dirty man. Um, I did a play last summer, a musical with Rock Hudson, I'm no fool, at uh, the Huntington Hartford called I Do, I Do. And in it, I did a bump and grind number, and the gentleman asked me if I would do it for him. Now, uh, how about after the show? <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. My brother and I have a no your brother and you have a present for me. Come on up. It's like, let's make a deal. This is, trip to Australia. this is for my trip to Australia. What is that, a little koala bear? Yeah. Thank you. What's your name? David. Hi, David. And you are? Diane. Diane. Thank you. It's a little koala piggy bank. Isn't that cute? Oh, I that's really, we're going to Australia. In October, Riles. Oh, yeah. Yay! The crew's a little ticked off at us because they're not all going. But uh, I wish they were. Yes. I read that you and the Queen will be there at the same time. Yes. Will you be for uh, that? Uh, <laughs> he means the Queen of England. Sounds very interesting to me, Chris. How does group therapy work? Oh, it's simple, Carol. See, we all sit around in the circle, and then one by one we stand up and divulge our innermost feelings. You tell perfect strangers what your innermost feelings sure. are? Isn't that embarrassing? No, it's good for you, Carol. How many people are in your group? Well, there'll be six of us tonight. Uh, that is, of course, unless you and Roger would like to stick around and try to save your marriage. <laughs> wrong with our marriage? Well, nothing except that the two of you don't know how to communicate with each other. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Roger, we communicate, don't we? Don't bug me. <laughs> you see, you call don't bug me communicating? Where are you going? Get two more chairs. Oh, no, you don't, Carol. Well, well, it talks. Yes, yes, it talks. But not the sick, kooky weirdos. <laughs> Seems to me you'd blend right in. <laughs> oh, yeah? Now, look here, Dr. Brothers. Just a minute. I think she's absolutely right. You and I should join this group. What for? Oh, because it could bring life into our marriage. That's what for. I'm talking about our marriage like it's in a coma. Well, isn't it? <laughs> no. I think we'd have a perfect marriage, Carol. I come home every night, you make dinner. I play 36 holes of golf every weekend. I watch football on Monday nights, and every other Wednesday we go to a movie. What could be more perfect than that? There's something missing from our marriage. What? I think it's you. There's a lot more to a marriage than golf and football and movies. You guys aren't getting in touch with each other's feelings. How would you like to get in touch with my feelings one time? She's absolutely right. You are not sensitive to my needs. That's not... What do you mean, Carol? All right. All right, I will give you a for instance. Okay, give me. How about when, when that, those water beds were on sale oh, downtown? Yes, yes. Well, I wanted a water bed. Well, I didn't. Well, I did. Well, I didn't. I did. Well, I didn't. <laughs> when I get into bed at night, I, I'm looking for comfort, not victory at sea. <laughs> well, I am going to join Christine's group, and I'm going to find...
find out what makes us not tick. Oh, well, don't expect me to join. A bunch of kooky people are not going to tell me how to run my life. Oh, yeah, well, it's a lot better than watching your crummy old football game. Look, I'd much rather spend the afternoon with the Washington Redskins than with the Los Angeles Weirdos. They are not weirdos. Okay, they're not weirdos. Here come the weirdos. <laughs> Chris? Juan, hello. <laughs> Carol and Roger? Roger. Ah. Uh. Carol, I'd like you to meet Stan and Tony Mason. Hi, Stan, Tony. Stan, you're Tony. <laughs> this is Henry Chris. Hello. hello. This is Inga Kay. Hi. And this is our analyst, Dr. Hoffman. My goodness, he looks just like Clark Kent. <laughs> Carol would like to join our group tonight. Yes. That's okay. Oh, yeah. I don't well, know. I think that's a fine what idea. Is it all right? Yeah, Thank you. Yes, indeed. How about you, Roger? Would you like to uh, join us? No, no, thanks. Those groups are for people with problems. We have a perfect marriage. <laughs> oh, you don't have to participate. You can just sit in as an observer. I said no thanks. <laughs> Maybe as an observer, uh, but just for a little while. I mean, there's no harm in observing, is there? <laughs> well, listen, let's get started, huh? Oh, okay. Make yourself comfortable here. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, 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 that's all right. I'll just uh, stand back here. That'll be fine. Okay. All right, now, for you new members, one purpose of these groups is to try and get in touch with our inner feelings. So let's see if we can get some initial vibrations from each other. If you would just turn to the person next to you and say hi. 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 <laughs> All right, now let's try and relate through touch. Let's try and relate through touch. Now, if you would just simply reach out and uh, hold hands with the person on either side of you. <laughs> Uh, Roger, uh, what I meant was hold hands with the person on both sides, if you don't mind. Yeah. Oh, Carol, I'm sorry. Really? Yes. Hi. Hi. How's it going? Real good. <laughs> All right, now, let's uh, just go around the circle and try and describe how we feel at this very moment, okay? Now, Inga, we'll start with you. I feel groovy. Stan? I feel warm and comfortable. I feel tuned in. I, I feel good vibrations. I feel comfortable. I feel nauseous. <laughs> Roger, how about you? Are you in touch with your feelings? Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, well, I, it's kind of hard to describe what I'm feeling right now. Well, go ahead. Try. Well, I, I'm feeling great pleasure <laughs> and great pain. <laughs> pain because my wife is stabbing me with her fingernail. Obviously, she feels threatened by Inga. I do not! <laughs> well, um, I, I do feel a little, yes, I, yes, I, yes, 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 I feel threatened. Now go on, Mrs. Bradford. Don't, don't be embarrassed. Well, it's just that I don't like him looking at her like that. That's all. That's all. This always happens to me. Uh. People always end up arguing about my body. Mine, too. <laughs> well, you know, people with bodies... People with bodies also have problems. Uh. Do you know why my husband isn't here? You're married? If you can call it that. My husband's idea of marriage is playing 36 holes of golf every weekend. All the football he can watch on TV. Then he tries to make up by taking me to a movie every other Wednesday. He never communicates with me. That's incredible. <laughs> I can't understand how a man that's married to someone who looks like you could behave that way. <laughs> I'm trying to figure this out. Uh, what, what you just said, you said, in essence, is that you can understand how a man can behave that way if he's married to a woman who looks like me. 
Oh, no, no, no. No, honey. no, no. No, no, you misunderstood. No, I, that, I didn't uh, mean it the way no, it sounded. No, I was listening. Yeah, and I heard what you yeah, said. Yeah, well, you didn't really hear what was did at the she, bottom. Did you, what you, you couldn't no, understand no, no, how no, somebody that's married not what I, to a woman that looks like that could do that, and her husband does exactly no, what you No, 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 that's not what I meant. Okay, what did you mean? Well, I, uh... Uh-huh. I, uh... Uh-huh. I, 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 uh... <laughs> I, I'm in big trouble, right? Uh huh. Really? Big yeah, trouble? Yeah, the uh, big mamu. Big mamu. Uh, Ripping up my clothes, uh, breaking my golf clubs, trouble? You got it, guy. Uh huh. Yeah. That's... Well, okay, Carol, do whatever you want. You asked me to communicate my feelings, I communicated my feelings. All right, I'll communicate my feelings. Okay. You are incapable of communicating your feelings because you are not even an adult. Oh, yeah? Yeah, he still sleeps with his teddy bear. <laughs> Okay, okay. How about a wife that still undresses in the closet? You didn't have to tell them that! How dare you reveal my innermost secrets in front of a bunch of weirdos! Perfect example of communication. This is what I've been trying to do.